So today we will talk about an important topic that is flatulence. Okay. Flatulence means it is accumulation of gas in the uh in the uh, abdomen. Okay, excessive gas or accumulation of of gases in abdomen. So uh, why this happening? How many types of flatulence and uh, what are the symptoms and uh, what are the treatment? Okay, we will talk about that. Okay, or excess wind in the gastrointestinal tract. Okay, so what is the reason behind excess gases in the uh, stomach or uh, intestine or in colon? Okay. So basically, when excess gas produced in the abdomen, what will happen? Abdomen uh, distension will happen, pain will happen. Okay. And uh, we will not able to eat the food. There is less appetite. Okay. So these are the things uh, are seen in platelets. So basically, why this happening? There are the, there are two reasons. Initial are two reasons. One reason is uh, when we are eating, okay, we are swallowing air while eating. We are talking to somebody, or uh, we are not um, chewing the food properly. Okay, or we are while uh, eating, we are drinking lots of water. Okay, here we are eating and we'll talk to others. This is the swallowing air. One is the reason is swallowing. Swallowing air. First reason. And second reason is it is due to the disturbance of digestion and absorption in the stomach and colon. Okay. Digestion and uh, absorption problem. These are the two initial important reasons. So basically, uh, when we swallow eat, what will happen when uh, we are eating the meal, we are drinking water, if we are talking to the person or in the pool, or okay. So what happened? The, the air enters into the stomach. To the esophagus, okay, and it will attach to the fluid. It is attached to the fluid, okay. and if the, the 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 stomach is full, okay. Sometimes what happens uh, while we are eating, the gases will exhale, exhale, burping sound will uh, come, okay, while eating, okay, and the air will exert from the es esophagus itself. If the area is mixed with the fluid, it will travel to the stomach to the small intestine. Okay, while uh, contraction of stomach and uh, small intestine, what will happen? The air will pass through the intestine, through the colon, through the anus area. Okay, so this is very important. We have to remember. So basically what will happen and second thing is formation of uh, gases due to digestion problem and absorption problem. So what will happen uh, in the in the body, what happened? 3 to 4 liters of carbon dioxide is produced by small intestine. 
Why? Because of the acidic reaction, gastric reaction, pancreatic, secretic reactions. Okay. And protein uh, explosion. Okay. Okay. And uh, they, they will expose uh, to the uh, blood, to the portal stream, to the liver, and to the uh, lungs. So, the, the carbon dioxide will explode. But if the carbon dioxide is not exposed out, so it will, you will get burping sound. Sometimes it will expose to the waste material. Uh, through the anus area, okay, you will get foul smell, foul smell, and we have foul gases also, okay. Why this happening? Because of the uh, the protein, protein is a substance, okay. So basically, the undigested protein are combined with the carbon dioxide, okay, and it will flow through the. Uh, through the anus area. Okay, sometimes you will get gastric flatulence if it is producing a mixing with the uh, stomach. If it is mixing with the intestinal, we will call intestinal flatulence. If it is uh, large intestine, we will call clonic flatulence. Okay, so these are the three types of flatulence. One is gastric, second one is intestinal, third one is clonic. Okay, so basically, gastric fatulence, it is uh, through the esophagus, through the stomach, okay. So, you will get the burping sounds mostly, but in clonic intestinal, okay, it is uh, through the rectum area. Sometimes what happens when you do x-rays, you will able to see the gases in the intestine or large intestine. Okay, so mostly small intestine gases will cause foul smell. Okay, it is due to the undigested proteins combined with carbon dioxide, and it is coming through the unwanted uh, waste material. Okay, you will produce large amount of gases or flatulence. Okay, so what what we have to do? We have to improve the digestion process, improve the absorption process. You need to take less amount of protein material. Okay, whoever have false smell gases, we indicate that they have absorption issues in small intestine, mostly protein issues. Okay, so these are the types of uh, platulence we have, where the reason is we discussed, and the symptoms are same. Uh, they are bumping sound from the stomach. Excess amount, the patient will sit here uh, nearby and he will burp. Okay. And uh, if it is intestinal, okay, you will get foul smell. It will spread all over the uh, room. Okay. The patient will feel bad. The patient or other person will feel bad. Okay. So, what are the symptoms? Let's discuss some important symptoms related. Platulence. Okay. If the gases are more, the patient feels restlessness. Okay. And uh, uh, fullness of abdomen. Okay. So these are the symptoms and uh, loss of appetite sometimes. Not always. Loss of appetite. Belching, okay. Belching sounds. Constipation also sometimes. Diarrhea, indigestion. So these are the reasons. Okay, but this is the main important is restlessness, fullness of abdomen, burping sounds, and sneezing of gases from rectum area. Okay, these are very important. I am symptoms whenever. So what you have to do? Basically, in the flatulence, dyspepsia, or constipation, 
okay, constipation and a uh, nausea, vomiting, other reasons. But here in the flatulence, you need to improve to ask the patient. You have loss of appetite, or you are, you are unable to eat the food properly. You are not chewing the food properly. Are you uh, talking whenever you are eating food? Or are you taking excess water during uh, eating the meals? Okay, and you are, if you are not taking food on time, okay, you have to take the history. Depending upon this, you will decide what is the wrong thing the person is doing during eating the food. So this is very, very uh, reason behind you are treating. You are not treating with the medicine. You are treating with the problem what the patient is doing. If, if it is not true, you will give number of remedies you will not. If the patient is not feeling the food properly, minimum 32 times. Minimum 16 to 32 times. Okay. Initially, we have to start with 16 times. Gradually, because we, we uh, don't have uh, so if you are taking the food and you are swallowing, okay. If you treat the patient for months and months and years, his problem will not solve. His problem is he is not chewing the food properly. Okay, so improve the chewing is we have to be advised to practice daily. Can practice to you practice of eating food properly. Because there is the problem. So you need to take the proper history. So where is the problem? Is there? Proper history is mandatory. Okay. If there is no problem in the history, everything is all right, then your remedy will cover 100 percent Because there is a now there is functional issues. There are functional issues. Stomach is not digestion properly. Not making larger molecules, small molecules. Small intestine not absorbing the food properly. And you have to ask the patient what type of food he eat regular bias. Okay. Does he eat proper uh, proper diet, proper food? Is he take? Okay. You have to take, you have to ask that also. Okay, so what are the uh, regular remedies which work on? To work on flatulence. Okay. So what are the remedies? One is S1. Okay. S1 WE before fin. S10. Or sometimes we will take S1 RE. Okay, S10 W. It is very important for all types of abdominal issues. Or you can take S2 L1 W. Okay. And uh, before you talk about constipation in coming class here. Only about flatulence. Okay, we due to the constipation, you have to give S last for one five in D4. Okay, this is very important. S10, C10, W to improve overall function of uh abdomen C15 for one and five. And you need to apply uh, WA on abdomen, whole abdomen, will improve the overall, we have solar plexus here, it will improve the energy system of uh, abdomen, muscles, everything. So this is the basic uh, treatment for uh, flat periods. you can advise the patient, S1 RE, uh, because of this is chronic, everyone have chronic issues. So each shot will D4 or D5. Okay. This is also D4 or D5. If uh, 
I think uh, in the place as S2, you can add S10 sometimes or S2. S2 L1 W, which is also D2 or D5. D4. We are also D3, D5. You need to take this is also D5 initial. So abdomen applying D4. So this is the basic prescription. I need to advise the patient. Okay. So I hope you understand about platulence, all the types of platulence and uh, clinical features and pretty much. So, if anyone have any questions, I will ask.